Hello, welcome to Turn to Haitian Baby Page. This is going to be a Chimsy Fashion House haul, okay? Um, now, I ordered a couple pieces from this fabulous designer. Um, I did two separate um, orders, one in December, mid-December, and one beginning of January. Um, this week... Um, well, not this week. Um, so obviously this is a pre-recorded video because we're still in February when I, while I'm making this video. Um, the last week of February. But um, I literally just got my order. Like completely done from December. Um, so I've, I've been waiting two months. And yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about that. Um, two months to like a month and a half for um the other one um okay so i'm y'all have to give me five minutes if you don't want to listen just fast forward but um don't forget to thumbs like share the video um okay so she's a perfect i mean well she, she's a very good designer um she makes very good clothing um if you go on her site You'll see amazing things. I've been trying to buy something from her, me and my friend, for like three, four years, three years, four years, like that, um, for a couple years now. Um, she doesn't have sales often, and what she does is like last minute, like it's it's like flash sales. There you go. It's like flash sales, but sometimes it'd be like in the oddest hours. That's like, if you're gonna make it in this hour, then just don't have a sale. Um, her things are quite expensive, but they are good quality. And when you um, get it, you you pretty much can't find her stuff somewhere else. That's what I like about it. She, she's a really good designer. But so I ordered a two-piece purple outfit. This outfit, along with this dress that I, that's a gorgeous dress, uh, the dress is called Imani. The purple outfit, I forgot what it's called because it has like a, it comes, it, well, it don't come with it. You have to pay all separate, but I bought the big floppy hat. Uh, I ordered the crop top and the wide legged pants to go with it. So um, I got the hat. That's it. Um, so she has the email. You email them, they get back to you in 48 hours. Did not happen. Um, they have a, 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 a phone number that you could call. Um, I called them different times. No answer. Um, well, it was full. I DM, DM her, no answer. So um, I was really irritated. And it, it came to the point, like, I totally forgot about my order until my friend was like, oh, yeah, by the way, you know, Chimsy's having another sale. I was like, you know what? I, hold on. I never got my order from that. And that's when, which was all the way in February, that's when I hit them up. Number one thing I did not like. Once you order from them, thank goodness that I ordered from them and I ordered through, it, it's, I forgot the name of the program, but it's another program that's kind of like Afterpay. Kind of like, so it's, Afterpay is kind of like a layaway thing. They pay it for you and you pay little by little. So you pay like every two weeks. So it's like four payments. So then um, I did that. Now, her stuff, like I said, is a, is a bit pricey. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's it's good because you're not gonna see anybody else with it. But I, I I I'm not balling. I don't have money like that. So if I could have, if I I shop more, so places that I could just pay little by little, or I save up for them. But she had too many items that I could just save up for. And I know me, once I save up for something, I can't be like, okay, I save up for this. Let me go on a $500 shopping spree. No, I'm like one of those people that I shop and then I'll be like, okay, this shopping day. And then I'll shop and then I'll be like, damn, I spent like $200, $300. That's what I do. But for me to know that I'm handing you $300, like right off the bat, it, it just, I don't know. It just don't fly with me. Um, so anyway, um, so pretty much I had to hound her down. I had to stalk her. I didn't like that part. Because I DM'd her, everything else, nothing. Until I went on the on her Instagram on the same item that I purchased, this jumpsuit that I purchased, this jumpsuit flared out pants that I purchased. And I told her, I ordered this in December and I have not yet to get it. That's when they looked back on it 
and saw that I emailed and they emailed me back and say, oh, apologetic. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to send it to you. The one in December, I was kind of a little bit lenient on it because I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a lenient on it because um, it's like during the holiday season, even though I ordered mid-December, but okay. So I was kind of being a little lenient. I was like, so I felt a little comfortable ordering in January because I was like, well, at least by the time I'm done with this order, my order from December will be coming and then I just have to wait a little bit longer for the second one. Never happened. So then um, he gave me my order. Well, he gave me one order, which was the hat and the jumpsuit. Yeah, the hat and the jumpsuit. And then they, then I had to wait a little bit for the, for the, um, dress. The dress came in a separate, um, package. I don't know why. Both of them came at the same time. Um, and then the one that I ordered in, um, no, that was in January. I see, I can't, they, they mixed me up. So anyway, I had to wait for that. And then the sec, I just completed my order. Like now. The sizing is way off way off i don't think the sizing is she's a slim woman i don't think she knows the proper sizing for plus size that's just me i have ordered plus size before from um other african shops so I, like this is not me like trying to attack her or anything like that um but yeah um she gave me this shirt for free it was between a shirt that, that was 30 dollars, a head wrap that was 20 dollars, and a and a mask that was 10 dollars that i could pick from for my inconvenience of two months then um once i got my stuff and i saw that the sizings was just all messed up because i ordered something in extra large i ordered something in 2xl and i ordered something in 3xl and the sizing was way off for all of them i got nervous about the outfit so because i got nervous about the outfit what i did is i exchanged my pants because remember it's a two-piece set i exchanged my pants for um a bathing suit this head wrap and this because the bathing suit was seventy dollars, the pants was a hundred dollars. So seventy dollars, twenty dollars, ten dollars. Then the crop top. When I once I got this, you gotta go see how the sizing was way off. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm nervous about the crop top because if I order down, it might be too small. If I order big, then it might be too big. So I was like, you know what? Fine, forget it. So then, because this bathing suit was way off, I told her, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and exchange, because I saw that the crop top was the same size as the swimsuit. Now, after I obviously it's been two months later, so I forgot that I got the crop top on sale as well. So she, she notified me that, so I thought I only had a $5 difference, but then she told me I had a $30 difference, so I had to pay the $30. And I, I just paid the $30 because I just wanted to be done with this order. Um, but that kind of annoyed me because I felt like she should have just gave me the swimsuit. Um, it's not like I'm getting the swimsuit for free. It was just $30 off. I know $30 sound like a lot for an independent company, and it would be a lot for an independent company. But for making somebody wait two, out, two months, and it's not until they threaten to just be like, well, not threaten, but contact you. Because I was always respectful, and so was she. So was she. Uh, she, could get, she did give good customer service, like, once you got in contact with her um but i just felt I, I just felt some type of way about that i was irritated i was annoyed i was like okay fine i'll just pay the 30 dollars just so this crop could be closed because then i had to wait an additional three more weeks for the crop top and when i asked her why that's when she finally told me oh we didn't have your size in stock that's something you should have said from jump like i should have gotten an email i should have got an email about my with my order number if it wasn't for me doing that pay thing that pay thing had the description of what I bought, the price that I bought, and the order number. If it wasn't for that, I would have been messed up. If I would have used like my card or something else, I would have been, or I would have been messed up because they never gave me a, a, a order number. Never for two of them, never gave me an order number. So I would have been messed up. Um, so I don't feel confident buying from her in the sense of getting my stuff in time. Like I, if I buy from her again, it would have to be like an AliExpress thing where I'm like, okay, I buy from her. I know I'm going to get it in a, in a month or two. Like that's how it has to be. But the only thing that just kind of like irritates me besides stocking and all this situation, this whole situation is irritating, but not getting an email, letting me know my, pretty much not getting my receipt, not getting nothing. That's what irritates me. And I don't want to make another order to find out if I'm going to get it. So I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm just over it but um and it's a shame because i wanted to order two gowns from her 
Because everything I ordered from her, this is everything that I wanted. Except for that dress. That dress, Imani, I did want it, but that that's a new item. But everything else is like pretty much items that I've been trying to get. Um, and most of them were on sale. Um, but I just, I just felt some type of way about that. So anyway, so this is the free shirt that she let me have. It was this one, and then it was between this shirt and a shirt that had this print on it. But the print was on the t-shirt. But I really like this, so so I got this. It has her logo on it, which I thought was kind of cute. It's a still melanin. This shirt is in a 2XL. So the shirt is is decent, no problem with the shirt. I'm probably gonna cut it up because I kind of want to um, um, sport it during the summertime. But um, yeah, I want to sport it in the summertime. Um, but you know, black attracts heat and all this stuff. So I don't want to yeah, I'm, I, I, that's why I'm just going to, I'll probably cut the size. I'm going to find some type of way to cut it, but I, I just really like this shirt. I wish I didn't have to cut it, um, but um, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> I'm going to cut it. So it's really cute. It's really cute, but um, I just think it will be cuter if I cut it, if I do something different with it. Because they already have something different going on with this 3D um, thing right here. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to do something different, though. But I, I like, I, I love the shirt. So the t-shirt, the Imani dress, and the hat is pretty much what I really love. So let's talk about the swimsuit. Before I get up to the swimsuit, let's talk about the head wrap. So she had, the, she had this head wrap on, and she had it in a bow. But what I did not see was, um, I did not see that on the other side of it is white. That irritates me. You know how you go to the hair store, which I don't go frequently to the hair store, but you know how you go to the hair store and you buy those African earrings and in the back is just white? That irritates me. I don't I don't buy them because that, that irritates me. So um, because then it flips, you don't know it flips and they can't see the print. And this one, the only reason why this kind of irritates me is because um, I'm not really great at... Um, doing um head wraps so i'm gonna have to find like some t you know some type of a way to um tie it i probably have to watch videos or something like that and so you don't see the white you know i guess that would be good for some people who knows who's if i was maybe really good at it then it would be like oh, okay two for one you know so that that would be a plus but uh for someone like me it's not and i wish i would have known that in the description i wish she would have took a picture like this and took a picture like this instead of just with her with the head wrap where I couldn't see the back of the fabric. Cause you know, the African fabrics, um, they're really thick and you know, you get the same print back backwards and forwards. But um, with this one, obviously it's like a, a spandex type, a printed fabric. So it's not really, you know, whatever. So um, this is the $10 mask. Now, I personally think this this mask needs to be five dollars. Okay, we're in COVID. I'm gonna push it to seven, but ten dollars. Mm -mm. So it says Africa is Africa is not a test lab. My problem is, look, the T is crossed out. It's like this, and I like this is straight. This is straight, but then this goes like this, and this goes like that. For ten dollars. You could buy a mask for three dollars. You could buy a mask at the dollar store, a cloth mask. So it's not like this is something you know with you know with extra thing, the little thing that help you breathe. Like it's nothing like that for ten dollars. For ten dollars, I you know um, I know some people might be like um, you know you can still see the message or whatever, but um, for ten dollars, if I'm paying ten, I don't pay ten dollars for a mask. So if I'm paying ten dollars for a mask, um. Yeah, I expect it to be the same way that it's advertised in your face is pretty much where I'm going with that. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm still going to wear it. I bought it, so I'm still going to wear it or whatever. Um, it's a good message. It covers up. So you can see because she she does every she does other masks. This is the only mask that has writing on it. So I wouldn't opt for the writing, but it's as you can see, it covers really well, really well under my uh chin everything it covers really well it's a really good um one and, and it has like the hole so you could slip the little thing in, in between of it so it's a really it's made really like made um stitched really nice 
but um yeah i wasn't feeling that for ten dollars like the, the the little slanted parts or whatever um i'm cheap i'm cheap and i don't have a problem spending money on stuff that's good quality and her stuff is good quality so I, you guys did not hear me say it's not it's good quality but i hate paying for good quality stuff but it's not what you think is gonna be if that makes sense um because everything I took out the package, I was really excited. But then when I put it on or when I examined it, it was like, damn, 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 every time. So this is, um, I forgot the name of this. She, all these things have names to it. So this is one of the swimsuits. Um, I got the red one and then I was like, damn, I should have went for the blue one. So I ended up exchanging for the blue one. So... I got the, this is 2XL, just like the t-shirt. Now see, I got to lift up my breasts, put it on here, lift it up, lift up the, 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 the swimsuit. And it, for this swims, for this type of swimsuit where I'm completely covered, I shouldn't have to keep readjusting myself. I have the same, like this same design, not the same design, but the same construction with my Afore, um bikini top. And my boobs ain't going nowhere in that top. It's not going on nowhere. The only thing that irritated me about that top, which I um, told you guys in my foray haul, was the highness of the back. But aside from that, my boobs was not going nowhere. It wasn't slipping down like it does for this. I don't know if it's because this one is a swimsuit compared to a foray. Foray was a bikini top. But um, this should be, because it has the wire, I'm assuming the wire is supposed to make it stay in. Um, and as you guys can see, this is too big. It's too big. See? Like, like my fupa is getting nice little breathing room here. And it goes like that. And then look. See? When I go like that, you see that extra fabric? You see? You see it? You see that extra fabric poking out? You see? Like, I, sh I shouldn't be able to be able to stretch this much from a swimsuit. A swimsuit should be skin tight. And then you see, okay, do you see, you see the back, right? There's no structure like this, where it's supposed to be, this is how a swimsuit is, where it's supposed to hug the back, where you kind of see that little arch. Nope, I don't have that in this one. You know, it's just like, see, it's just like, see? It, yeah, so that, that my mom would fix. One thing I do like better than a foray, this, but then again, I can't even compare this to a foray because like I said, a foray is a bikini, this is a, a swimsuit. The thick straps are really good. Um, adjustable straps, I really like. And it just really pissed me off because this is a really nice fabric. Like this fabric is meant to act like a girdle. It's meant to act like a girdle. I love this fabric. You stretch it out, everything, and the print don't go nowhere. And you just, it just, this is a nice, confident, it's supposed to make me look like this. Not like this. Not like that. Um, and then on the other women, it's like the slimmer women, it was like this. When it was advertised, it was like high-waisted. But on the plus sides, it was a little bit low. I don't care about it being a little bit low. Because then I just wanted a nice little sexy swimsuit that I could go swimming with my kids but I could still feel like I'm you know I have something different so that's why I ordered this so um, my mom is gonna have to do some construction reconstruction surgery on this thing I'm gonna have to take this and kind of like have her sew it all the way in the corner like that that's what my idea is I know my mother my mother could fix this no problem and then the, it has a zipper in the back a hidden zipper in the back see I'm gonna show you I'm going to show you with this one. I'm going to show you with this one. It has a hidden zipper in the back. I don't know why. Why? Why? I, I don't know why. Um, the only thing I could assume is because she wanted you to feel like you could wear as a swimsuit and a bodysuit. But people are people are, are already doing that with swimsuits anyway. You know, especially with the bikini tops. Where with You know, they're already doing it anyway. So I didn't see the purpose of the of the zipper especially for plus size skinny girls whatever but plus size um usually the zippers is like for like 
some type of a design, some type of umph, you know, to make the swimsuit look a little different. But I've never had a swimsuit with the zipper in the back. So I'm just going to have my mom stitch this like all the way in and eliminate the swimsuit and just cinch it in and stitch it up and she'll find a way to fix this uh, properly. Now, I did show her the, the picture where I show her this and I show her that and I show her the back and she was like, oh, well, you know, you should have, um, cause I told her I got it from your sizing chart. And then she told me, no, you should have, um, just, I can tell you why I'm changing it to this one. She told me, no, you should, you should have just gave me your, um, measurements. Uh, you could return it. She told me I could return it and give my measurements and they could fix it to my body type. But it's like, if you have a swimsuit already advertised in your thing and I'm going by your, it doesn't say that on there now i know she does have a button that says customize but i didn't think i needed to customize anything because i was going by your sizing chart and you according to your sizing chart it's supposed to fit the way it's supposed to fit so this is the swimsuit that i had to pay the extra 30 dollars for and i got an extra large because she has extra large 2xl and 3xl so this is the blue version of this swimsuit so the blue version fits a little bit better. Um, my boob still kind of goes down a little bit. Um, like, not now, but it does kind of go down a little bit. But this one fits a little bit better. And I'm happy with this one, uh, especially with the color. I, I, I really like that red color, but I don't know. It was After I ordered the red one, I was like, damn, I should have got a, the blue one. Like, once the red one came here. Um I, I I wonder because like I still have a little room right here not too much like it's not like that deep or whatever but I kind of I kind of wonder if I got a large how would that fit that's kind of what I wonder I don't wonder that much to order again but you okay so you see still the extra fabric you see the extra fabric right because you see this is not going like this it's going like this so no vents in here this time no vents so my fupa is no vents um i have the adjustable strap straps i have to keep doing this because my boobs see keep going under so i have to keep adjusting myself not so much this boob more so this boob because this boob is bigger than this boob but still um but it's really nice this is a tension um type of a swimsuit you know there's no way that you're gonna wear this swimsuit that somebody's not gonna be like girl where you get your swimsuit from um and i will tell them i got it from chimsy fashion house you know um that i have no problem telling them because it seems like i got the swimsuits really fast with no problem um so um it's swimsuit it's gonna be swimsuit season so i don't think she's gonna have an issue you know giving the swimsuits um you know giving the swimsuits or whatever but um yeah anything else i would say um uh yeah um i'm not gonna say don't shop with her I'm not gonna say that because she has too many good clothes for me to say that and really good uh uh, uh she was respectful and everything but i won't be shopping with her um because um i could let it go if it was the first order but two different orders and hounding you and everything yeah i i just don't feel comfortable at this moment unless she makes like a post or saying that she's going with a different carrier or whatever the situation what, whatever the hell she needs to do to fix it but um i, I me personally i i'm mm -mm. so they go a hole right here okay this is the jumpsuit that i ordered oh let me show you guys because let me show you guys so this you can see 2xl this swimsuit is an extra large and this is an extra large spandex this is the same material as the swimsuit okay same material same material as the swimsuit okay so i'm gonna step to the side and one thing i do like about this it does have her logo on it in the bottom so i like this i, I really like this i like this because it's a really nice patch work without it being so patchy patch i don't mind the patchiness but i, I just really like this print fabric of different like that i just really like it so let's go on and over here and try this on according to her chart her sizing chart for plus size like i said i think she she probably know what she's talking about with the straight size but yeah the plus size let me unzip okay plus size nope no ma'am 
So this is the pants, okay? Pockets, liking you already. I do wish that this, you could undo the strap so you could do it crisscross if you like, but I'm not mad at it. Really nice, but look, my butt crack starts right here. And you have all, you have this space right here out. So my butt, so it's my back, then right here, my butt, so like the top, kind of. No, my butt really starts here, but you know what I'm talking about, like this, the lower back. I don't like that being out like that. When she had it advertised, she had it advertised with a crop top, and it was advertised sitting up like this. Um, I'm not too upset about this, only because I'm in the middle of um, losing weight. I've been losing weight, so I'm so that's why I'm just like not irritated about this one, um, because obviously if I would have went up a size, I would have had to, you know, reconstruct it all over again. So it was like, mm, so I'm not too upset about this. But if I want to wear this now, um, the only thing that do, does irritate me is what if I was like, I'm not interested in losing weight, whatever. Then I would have been messed up like this. Um, I, now I have to wear it with a bodysuit if I want to wear it now. I would have to wear it with a bodysuit so that way you don't see, like, my lower back and stuff. But um, it's really nice. It's really nice. So now I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to show you the hat, the infamous hat. Now the hat, the same print of this hat, this is, um, this is the same print of the outfit I was supposed to wear, um, that I ordered, that I was supposed to wear. Um, for this thing I was doing. And then I was also supposed to wear it for my birthday. So I was going to wear it twice since it was like really expensive. So if you have box braids or um, wig, like a big wiggy wig, don't expect to put your head on the, in this. Now, I don't have any hair, any wigs today. So I have my locks. So see, my head could fit in there. But at the same time, I will still say buy this because, can you hear that? Hold on. This thing have weight to it. So this is how it looks. This is how it looks when I put it all the way in my head like this. This is how it looks when I have it on the top of my head. So you can still sport it. I'm, I'm not going to say it's big head friendly because it's not. But you can still sport it. You can still wear it. And see, it looks like this when it's not on my head. And it looks like this when it is on my head. You can't really tell the difference. And it's not like the big straw hat that I got at Forever 21, where if the wind blows, it's going to take it. This has some weight on it. This ain't going nowhere. This, this, you know, you, it, it might do a little bit of this and you have to, you know, hold on to it. But as in flying off your head, no, this have a little weight to it. Um, if I could, if there was items that I would go back for, like I said, there were two gowns I wanted to get. And, but I thought that was about it. But after I received this hat, I was like, I would go back for all her hats, all of them. Cause her hats are the bomb. Really, really, really good made. And it really sucks because now I have to use it as a sun hat. Or um, if I have like an all yellow outfit or uh, all purple, but it has to be this type of purple outfit, maybe. Um, I could probably uh, play with the purple or whatever. I saw this purple um swimsuit at a uh, bikini at walmart that i was I'm, I'm gonna go back for hold on i'm almost done with my video please leave me alone uh we have two bathrooms okay. um that i'm going to this will be mostly my summer outfit if i have a white outfit i could put it on um but mostly with bikinis and stuff like that um or if i have like an all black which i do bikini i feel like i need a little bit more zhuzh I could just put this on with it and there and there you go and be extra dramatic with it. So I really like it. And as you can see, see, it stays where I, you know, once you form it, it stays, you know, it's not like stay like that forever, but it, it has a really good hold to it. So I, I really do like this. I, I can't even front. I really do like this. And then on to the last, last but not least, this is a Imani dress in a 3XL. No stretch except for the waist. The waist, the waist is what saved me. Now, because I knew it was not a, a non-stretch fabric, I was like, you know what? I think it's best if I just order the largest size they have. 12, size 12 is 12, 14 is extra large. 16, 18 is 2XL. And 20 to 22 or 24 
is 3XL. You tell me if this gonna fit a 24. Now, first of all, I didn't know, I have to suck in my gut. I gotta suck in everything in just to button this dress. So this is like, I have a body magic girdle, so body magic girdle will have to be used with this dress. Now it's like acting up. Um, I personally think it looks better when it's um, um, buttoned all the way in the top, but I know I won't be, I, I wasn't able to button in the top when I first got it. I, I wasn't because my boobs were too big. So um, it sucks it has to be like that, but you know, for now, I should say. This is my gold dress, so I'm going to try my best to lose weight so I can fit into this dress for my birthday. I'm going to take myself out for my birthday, actually. I just want to be alone for my birthday. I've been cooped up with my in my house and dealing with my kids 24-7 and my husband whenever he's home. So I, I would just rather just, you know, and it just ripped. It just ripped right here because it has strings. Or you could pull the strings so you could pull the um the the, the 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 sleeves up and it just freaking ripped. Oh this just get better and better, don't it? Anyway, um so this is the dress that I wanted to wear for my birthday with my brown Brian uh Brandon Blackwood uh uh trunk bag. Um it has the strings on the side that you could pull to make it shorter. I'm not even gonna pull it. So if I wanna pull the string next time, I'll, I'll just take it off and then pull it and then put it back on because clearly I can't, see? Clearly I can't pull it with it on. Um, so she has it in this size. I had to get it when she restocked, even though I ordered it before she restocked. So that was annoying. I had to remind her, hey, whoa, whoa, you talking about restock, girl, I never got mine. Mine's for the first time. This this is the one that I ordered in January. That, as you can see, this is why I ordered it. Um, but, um, yeah, so anyway, I got the dress. She got in this uh, color, which I liked. I was going to get the other one, but then I was like, mm -mm. I don't like dresses with snaps in the front and, and zipper in the back. As a plus size person, I just don't. You sit down, you, you, you like, I can't be comfortable. So that's why I don't like him. Um, so I did not know that. Had I known that, I would have just left the dress alone. But it's a beautiful dress. I'm glad I didn't leave it because I do like it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to stitch this this up too. That's, that really sucks. I hate that this is this did that because this, this was my favorite item. This and the, this and the hat is my favorite item that I have, like, the hat I have no complaints, but this one I have minimum complaint about. Um, but as you can see, this is supposed to be able to fit me and be a little bit baggy, but like, that's why I said the sizing is all wrong because I'm trying to show you guys, I'm not trying to do slander or anything with this because she does a wonderful job. As you can see, she does a wonderful job, but um, I just won't be um, going back to order again from her. Um, not anytime soon. Never say never, because like I said, she does really good designs, but I would have to treat her like I do AliExpress. Let me order and I'll holla at you for two months. So I'm not gonna order if I really need something or if an event is coming up or my birthday's coming up. I'm like, oh man, my birthday's coming. Well, thank goodness, <laughs> this one was like since January, but it, imagine if my birthday was coming up and it's like tax season, I'm like, ooh, let me order that. And I didn't receive it. So um, that's pretty much what I have to do with Chimsey Fashion House. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to do with her, um, with her um, online store. I mean, like I said, beautiful designer, beautiful designs, beautiful designer, she's, she's pretty. Um, if it's the, the same model that's modeled in the clothes, that's what I'm assuming. Um, really nice, courteous, um, thick accent, loved her accent, um, but um, yeah, yeah. I don't need to go back into the rant and rave, but um, check her out. Like I said, good website, support black business. As you can see, I did that twice. Um, this was not, I'm not gonna say I took an L for this one, cause like I said, it's not like I got the products and all the products was just crappy. None of them was really crappy to be to be honest. Um, it was just really late, had to stock you for it. And 
sizing way off. But besides those three reasons, everything look exactly like how it looks on Instagram, how it looks on the website. So, you know, but y'all know what it is. This has been long enough. Um, hey yes. guys, quick update on Chimsy. So I went online to Google them um, so I could get like a little logo. The one that you guys see, whatever picture I put as the main picture on this video. And I saw that I was not the only one. So I know I told you guys, you know, order, um, you know, they have good stuff. But you know what? I would say order at your own risk because I was not the only one. It was another girl that did not get her reference number. And it was another girl that's three, one, three of them. If you Google and look at the reviews that did not get the order and did not get a response. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's not looking too good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not looking too good. So, um, and, and another one was complaining about the same thing I was saying about the sizings too. Mm.